Namaste. Suspita de Aslan. This video is entitled Waking Up America. Spelled A M E R I K A. Don't get offended. We're just starting. I am a U.S. citizen, though I am critical of <clears throat> the U.S. government, ACA, the Obama regime. I consider it a rogue state that routinely systematically violate so-called international norms. I say so-called international because there are no real independent nations under empire. And we are living under an empire, if you haven't noticed. So there are no real free independent nations because they're colonies of, of American empire, American imperialism, though it is not the only empire. There are a few others. You know, look at China. Don't let China call in its debt. I think we're in trouble now. The Ru Russia has backslided from being a, a former Soviet Union. Now it's just called Russia. So, I want to address this to the American people. And Being a U.S. citizen, the last I checked, I still have, uh, you know, freedom of speech, and I intend to use it, freedom of expression, and we should recognize and respect humane rights all over the world. Some people refer to the American people as sheeple, as in sheep people, as in the sheepy. And though this has a little bit of humor, it's kind of arrogant. You know, no one was 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 raised to have a high level of a consciousness and comprehension about what's going on in the world and social political dynamics and the intricacies of of, of powers and economics and, and all that stuff. You know, we learn what what we need to learn. Knowledge is direct or indirect experience. So, we were not all raised with being politically aware, with being an activist, with being even a liberal. I consider myself a radical. Labels are, can be real tricky. A radical in the sense of I want to get to the root of matters, you know, not get uh, sidetracked. You know, to me, we need to wake up to connected reality. What's going on in, in the world and 
in the USA and in other countries. You know, I'm in uh, late August 2013 here. So there's a lot of anxiety going on right now among many people at different levels to different degrees over Syria, whether Pharaoh Obama is going to launch an attack on, on Syria with missiles or not, you know, Tomahawk missiles. So, if you look at how the U.S. regime screws things up, if you remember the Iraq War, how that was a big lie about weapons of mass destruction. And this has all come out since since. But the US regime pulled it off. You know, with the Peter Bush and, and uh, his sidekick Cheney, Dick Cheney. So now we have the, the Syrian situation and this uh, crisis of conscious about chemical weapons being used against the Syrian people and blaming the Assad regime. There are some who suspect that it's a false flag that actually it, it was done by other dark forces, possibly CIA, you know, in collusion with certain Syrian opposition forces. I believe that Assad needs to go. You know, but ultimately, this is a question or an issue that's up to the Syrian people. You know, Many thousands have been killed already. You know, the Syrian refugee crisis is is historic. You know, so there's there should be no question about there need to be there needs to be a regime change. The question more is how will this happen and who will do it? You know, we look at uh, the Syrian opposition. You know the Free Syrian Army, and there's questions about who's behind the Free Syrian Army. You know, and seeing that the Syrian opposition is uh, greatly divided. You know, there's no clear structured leadership in place. You know, we look at the uh, Egyptian situation, how. Prior to their revolutionary thrust towards state power, there's still not been a, a revolution in Egypt. Don't get it twisted. You know, but prior to that revolutionary thrust, there was no uh, structured organization. There was no vanguard leadership that's above ground that people knew that people could point to. You know that that were that were to be accountable. These are major defects, you know, in in the Egyptian liberation process. And these defects also exist among the Syrian opposition. These defects also existed among the Occupy Wall Street movement. You know, no structured organization, you know, no above ground Vanguard leadership. So, I believe that Occupy Wall Street was a great awakening for a lot of Americans. And at the same time, it has kind of faded out. 
because of the reasons that I mentioned. So we need to be able to, to use analytical thinking. You know, our use our minds, you know, to, to check out the situation and to see where there are errors in judgment that need to be recognized and resolved. So what we want to do is to awaken America. Awaken America to its great potential. You know, this is a beautiful country. I love the American people. Though I no longer consider myself your ordinary American. I'm a Chicano de Aslan, A Z T L A N. Study the etymology of the word America. So, being a Chicano de Aslan, I have more of a detached. way of looking at what's going on in the USA. A lot of people are busy living out their lives. I'm blessed right now because I have, you know, a meager income but enough to keep to keep the show going. And many other people are are just they're busy. Busy living their day to day lives and of course, many are, are, are lost in, in worlds of sex, music, and drugs, as I used to be, being a recovered dope. <laughs> and so, we need to see that in order to, to reach people, we need to respect them. And we don't respect them by calling them sheepy. And remember that there are many levels of consciousness, many degrees of consciousness. You know, it's not all one consciousness. Though, in a way, you know, we are becoming more and more aware together and we're gradually creating a collective consciousness. Yet different people have different experiences. You know, some have read a lot and some have experienced a lot. Some have, have read and experienced. You know, so we need to Be aware of where people's heads are at, or, what we, or where we think they're at. And you know, not be arrogant, you know, you know, be humble. And to realize that for us to advance as on an individual level, you know, we need to be humble in order to advance. That means we we learn from other people. No matter what their station or status. So that we become uh, students of the people. At the same time where you know we can teach them what little we know. Because compared to the vast storehouse of knowledge, you know, what we know on the individual little, uh, on an individual level, is really little. You know, so every day we have an awakening. We wake up in the morning, brand new day, 
and we need to have love and patience and understanding and take the time to explain matters to people. You know, don't assume that what you know, someone else knows. Nor should we assume that they don't know what you know. So this, how, how do we find that out? We, we find that out by communicating. You know, by sharing ideals, by sharing our feelings, you know, our thoughts. Many times people learn more from honest emotions and deep feelings than they do just from cold facts and figures. It's a growth process. Life is a growth process. So, we need to see that people in the USA, see we're in a strategic location on the planet. What we do here in the USA can have reverberations, can have repercussions, you know, can create waves of consciousness that help to reach out to other people. You know, and, and to have other people in other countries realize that, you know, we here in America are human beings. We are all we are all of the family of humanity, which is now an endangered species. So we need to be mindful of that, and as Americans reach out to other people in other countries, you know, now we have internet power. We didn't have that back in the day, so you know we need to not be afraid of reaching out, and we also need to learn other languages. You know, I need to learn better Espanol. Spanish myself. Yet, you know, when there's a will to communicate, there's a desire to communicate. You know, the universe has a way of, of clearing that pathway so that the communication comes through. You know, so we need to Keep waking up America and wake up ourselves. Namaste.